Hello friends. Now we will see the double sideband with suppressed carrier switching modulator. DSBSC switching modulator. Double sideband with suppressed carrier and with switching modulator. So here M of T. Here it is a modulating signal. Here, this is a carrier signal, modulating signal and the carrier signal both are coupled to a summing device, output of the summing device we are getting V1 of T and which is coupled to the switching diode. It operation is very much similar to the square law device. Here it was a square law device, now here the switching device is present. So V2 of T is the output of switching diode which is coupled to the bandpass filter and output S of T is nothing but a modulated envelope of AM wave. Here again double side bandwidth suppressed carrier with a phase shift of 180 degree at the end of this one. So let us see the operation. The switching modulator diode has to operate as an ideal switch. Modulating and carrier signal are modulating signal is simply M of T here, but the carrier signal is C of T equal to AC cos of 2 pi FCD. The summer block produces an output which is the addition of modulating signal. So M of T plus C of T equal to M of T plus AC cos of 2 pi FCD. V of T is applied as an input to the diode, assume the magnitude of modulating signal is very small and carrier signal is very large. So diode is on and off according to the carrier signal amplitude. So here diode will be followed by when C of t greater than 0 and will be reversed by when C of t less than 0. So S of T will be AC by 2, 1 plus 4 pi AC, M of T cos of 2 pi FCT. So we know the standard equation of AM is S of T equal to AC in bracket 1 plus KAM M of T cos of 2 pi FCT, where K is nothing but amplitude sensitivity. So at the output of this one, you will get the double side bandwidth suppressed carrier. Here, Phase shift again, it is showing 180 degrees phase shift. Thank you.